So this is the first video in a new series of uh, walkthrough videos. So the topic is electrode potentials. And as always, the link to the question is in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so the diagram to start, so we've got to put the SN4 plus 2 plus uh, half cell against the standard hydrogen electrode, which I've drawn on the left hand side. Doesn't matter which way round you draw the half cells. So the key things we're looking for would be obviously your two beakers with your solutions in, uh, connected by a salt bridge. Just make sure that your salt bridge goes into the solution. You need an external sort of wire with platinum electrodes dipping into each of your solutions, obviously with a voltmeter in the middle. So in the standard hydrogen electrode, we've got hydrogen gas going in at 298 Kelvin, 100 kilopascals of pressure. And the solution would be a one mole per decimeter cubed solution of H plus ions. The solution in the other one is a mixture of tin 4 plus and tin 2 plus, both at one mole per decimeter cubed. Okay, moving on to the next part, you'll see I've copied the table out just to stop me going backwards and forwards. So if we look at the first two equations, these two here, we're just looking at the standard electrode potentials, how they stack up. So you can see this one's more positive. So this half equation will run in the forwards direction. This one runs in reverse, but because we've got three electrons here and only one there, we've got to treble this one, which gives us that equation there. One and three next. So again, this is more positive than this. So it's going to go forwards. That's going to go in reverse. I need to double this one because two electrons in the SN4 plus two plus equation, which gives us this one here. And the other pair of reactions are two and three. So again, looking at the two electrode potential values, this one's the more positive one. So this is gonna run forwards. This is gonna run in reverse. And we're gonna to need to multiply this one by two to get the electrons to six, and this one by three to get the electrons to six, which gives us this equation here. So why might these reactions not actually happen? So there's a couple of reasons you can give. So you can give like a kinetics reason. So you could say the activation energy is too high or the rate's too slow. The other thing I would say is that the conditions may not have been standard. Obviously that would affect these values here. Moving on to the fuel cell part of the question. So we've just got to write the complete combustion of methanol equation, which is that there. Moving on to the next part, so we've got to deduce the half equation for the other um, half cell basically. So we know that the overall reaction is the combustion of methanol and we're told that this is happening at one of the electrodes, a positive electrode. So we know that the oxygen and H2O part of the overall equation is covered. So the other process that's taking place must be the methanol to CO2 part. So that's my start point, CH3OH, leave some space, go into CO2. So I'm gonna balance this half equation with H2Os, H pluses and electrons. Obviously H pluses, not OH minuses, because we've got H pluses here. So my starting point is gonna be looking at the atoms. I've got two O's here, I've only got one O here. So let's bring in an H2O, so that gives me two O's. Let's count up the hydrogens now. So three, four, five, six, got no hydrogens here. So let's go six H plus. And all we need to do now is sort out the electrons. We've got no charge on this side. We've got a six plus charge at the moment on the right. So we need to get the charges to be the same on each side. So I need six electrons on the right. The two advantages of the fuel cell vehicles over the combustion of fossil fuels. So fuel cells produce less carbon dioxide emissions. And the other thing I would say is that fuel cells are more efficient and your conventional internal combustion engine. And finally, an advantage of using methanol rather than hydrogen in a fuel cell, methanol is a liquid, whereas hydrogen is a gas. It's much easier to transport or store liquids than gases.